Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be starting a new playlist for uh, our channel. We're going to be heading up to Harrogate. Obviously you would have seen uh, on my channel um, the video about us doing the road trip, but today is going to be purely about uh, Eduardo Manito's car um, that we interviewed. We interviewed him uh, a couple of weeks ago now, so you'll notice um, You'll notice that on my Instagram there's been a few pictures and everything that we put up. Um, so we're going to be just doing this. This video is just purely to highlight his car. We wanted to start something new. So it's going to be the Abarth Spotlight. Uh, and we wanted to shine a light basically on some awesome cars that are in the Abarth community. Um, so we've got a few lined up. Um, so fingers crossed uh, you'll enjoy the video. Um, this guy's car is awesome. So. Um, Stay tuned because I'm going to hand it back off to me from about two weeks ago where um, we've just met up with Eduardo um, in Harrogate Town Centre and we're heading to a, um, I think it was a swim bass or like a function centre um, to go and meet him. He did offer to give me a carbon fibre spoiler to donate to the channel which was absolutely awesome so we also gave him a little... Um, gave him a little a gift uh, to say thank you from me and Hayley so I picked that up um, in the day in the daytime if you watch the, the the trip video you would have seen that so uh, yeah this is um, this is just an intro just so you guys uh, are aware of what the video is going to be about and what's coming on the channel because it's it's going to uh, be quite cool so hopefully you enjoy the video um, stay tuned and uh, enjoy see you very soon Our friends. So this is your. This is obviously your. Is it your car. Isn't it? How, yeah. long, how long have you owned it? I've for? only had it since. Uh, I've had it since August. It is a bog standard poverty spec, uh, the 145 model, with absolutely nothing on it. Uh, so since I first got it, uh, I've had a mild map put on it. I've got ram air filter. I've got a sports cap, and then I dechromed it myself with. Um, uh, plastic it and I, I think, we, I think we've all done that haven't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> most of us I completely messed it up and then I rebuilt it. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because it just peels off and I've done yeah. it in anthracite grey it's a bit different and I might do some of the other, other yeah it, that is actually different I haven't noticed just only just noticed that that is that's different to mine because I've just gone I mean mine looks really bad now because I've literally had all the stones hit it on the way here but yeah yeah mine's definitely a lot different to yours isn't it yeah, well, that's well, nice actually match probably I'm probably better off doing that to mine because it would probably match the bumper. I've also, just comparing the two, I've also used it to de-chrome around the fogs. Oh. So you get too there. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Don't get it too close, you'll see all my terrible overspray. <laughs> I, I didn't mask up properly <laughs> enough, just gone. <laughs> well, if you'd have seen my video, it's the same with that. <laughs> two hours later. Uh, then I, I uh, uh, changed the lights because uh, you know they're, they're weak as candles anyway so I didn't want to get those uh, those, those tinted um, and you and you, you said you picked these up from a I guy these, I, yeah I, I got this sent over from a, a guy in uh, Switzerland Robin I can't remember his surname lovely guy he deals in all sorts of parts um, but uh, I thought yeah that I was looking for something that's a little bit different and uh, I've, I've no idea what brand it is even but funny enough it's the, the fixtures and fittings are the perfect fit and it's easier to change the bulbs because they are they've got much more secure that uh, they are gorgeous compared to the standard ones yeah and and they, they, obviously they, these are leds here yeah you can just about see the leds i haven't had those wired up i need to there's, there's a really good auto electrician i know uh, so i may just get that wired onto uh, somewhere under the hood 
that to me, that, I mean, I love them. The minute that I saw them, when, when you pulled up, that was the first thing that I saw. These are the, the original um, uh, indicator bulbs, and I want to change it for one of those like, chrome cadmium ones. So, yeah, so, so, so it makes it a little bit more stealth. A little bit more stealth, yeah. And then on, on the sides here, so obviously I've been going on about your wheels, because <laughs> I really want to change the colour of these wheels. So, so the, the, you, you were saying these, these are, the are... Original, these are the original uh, standard 16 uh, wheels. So obviously you've taken the sensor caps off, all the part numbers and everything have been filed down, and then these are just the bolt covers and a, and a sensor cap off, uh, off eBay. But it's done in a uh, powder coat from a company called Powder FX, uh, and it's called uh, Iridescent Matte Bronze. Yeah, and you it can basically, tell depending them. on the light, it changes from anywhere to a flat chocolate to a bronze with purple highlights, there's all sorts of goes on. Oh yeah, you can, well you can tell when, as soon as you get to the other side, the difference. I mean the thing is, it's really hard to capture on film or it is. on uh, pictures on your, on your phone. It always looks, always looks better in, even people who've seen, seen the pictures of it will tell you, tell you when they see it in the flesh. Yeah. But it's, uh, it looks something else again. Yeah, it's beautiful, that colour. That, that sold it for me, really, now. That, that's the colour I'm definitely going to have to try and find someone. At least at least a bronze, you if I can't on, find look that. Look up the uh, powder effects of Curling UK. Oh, Everything. Bad colours on. It's beautiful. And, and really, I think it was only like an extra tenner a wheel compared to just getting a gloss black or a silver. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, it really is I, beautiful. The other thing I did on the front was I made a... Uh, so I could lower the number plate down. Yeah, that's actually, do you know what, that, that's cracking, isn't it, that? How you've got that mounted. So, so you've, what you've done is just mounted it underneath. There, uh, on, the, on the Series 4 release, there are the, the lip, the different colour lip you, you get, there are four screw holes on the bottom and another four screw on the back. It's the most, it's the only piece of Italian over-engineering you'll ever see in your life. <laughs> and I just, uh, I just took out uh, two of the screws and I replaced them with uh, M6 bolts. I've got a, an L-shaped uh, bracket, and that attaches onto. This is just a, a standard uh, standard license plate holder. Yeah. And then while I did that, I changed to a, a, a private plate. This is this is the only one I could afford. One with a five nine five on the end. <laughs> that is lovely, though. I, I, I must say, I mean, some cars, some cars. You see, uh, a few people they they paint the bad the, like the actual bath here. Yeah. I'm actually really glad that you didn't do that. I don't know whether it's something that you're gonna do, but I actually think it looks, I think it looks really aggressive being so low down. Well, do, you ever you, catch, do you ever catch that number place at the bottom? Well, the, one of the reasons I took it up 10 mil or so on the, uh, on the Star Plus coilovers is because it's, I thought it was level with the lowest part, but because it's further forward, it was, it caught once, uh, and basically destroyed it, and I had to, I had to use a spare one, uh, and then I had it taken up, and that's when I got the tyres done. And all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So you're running thicker tyres as well on this, aren't you? Yeah. So I'm so running 50, 50 profile tyres, uh, and I've got the uh, camber bolts for negative 1.75 degrees on the front, and DNA plates on the back for negative 1.5. Uh, so I've gone up from 45 profile tyre to a 50, uh, and you know the, the handling and the ride is so much better on the corners. It's so much more progressive, uh, and I'm really pleased with these tyres. The Nankang NS2s. Yes. Which everyone says yeah. are a death trap in the wet. I've driven around <laughs> in the recent rain, and uh, yeah, it was fine. It was absolutely. See, I'm I'm looking at going to some Toyo tires because it's it's actually quite difficult to get. I want these tires, but it's really hard to get them in 17s, believe yeah. it or not. Um, definitely for the 205 models. Yeah. Anyway, it's sort of once you go a little thicker, you're all right. But they look nice, actually. To be fair, being thicker, it suits it. It really does suit it. it well, it just fills out the arches, and it is a it's a good grippy bump. Does it feel? Like as if it's uh, a little like smoother as well when you're going over bumps with it. Do yes, you feel the difference? That was, that was a massive difference. So to fit them in, I took the I took the coil overs up about uh, 10 mil at the front, and about 12 mil at the back because it was really crunching on the on the back over anything, and it's it's a lot better. I don't have to like worry about potholes or no problems with speed bumps at all. Yeah, which we don't want that with your front bit yeah. hanging on the front there. <laughs> but I really wanted to do something with the wheels because overall I wanted quite a clean look. Yes. So I took the stripes off the side, um, the original uh, black covers, I got some uh, uh, matching red ones second hand, 
and the, uh, the, um, the darkened side indicators, that's the MS Racing ones. MS Racing ones, yeah. And then, uh, yeah. I've obviously uh, decranked the 595 on the side. Uh, and one thing I was really pleased about, because this is one of those items that's been charged up, is the uh, aerial delete. So oh, a, wow. That's a genuine 695 Deposto delete, which should be something like 250 quid. And I got it brand new for 59 pounds. Wow. And it takes 10 minutes to install, and once you've got it, you know. Yeah, because mine looks like, let's, let's face it, mine, mine looks like a, like a remote control car. And, and of course, you could, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Really, really nice. And then finally, the most important is your rep in the <laughs> northeast. Absolutely, that is amazing. Your car is lovely, mate. Honestly, and it's really clean as well. Really, really nice. And you're running the Monza exhaust, same as me. Yeah, but this is wired open, so it's same as me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cracking. That is lovely. Oh. Yeah, well, I mean, we've drove up, and I got pooed on. I know you just think, hang on a second, I'm doing 70 miles an hour in a straight line. How? Mad skills that you've got to be able to land that. <laughs> but yeah, no, I love those tyres as well. I think them tyres, oh, you see if you can get, dreads. yeah, aggressive, but not too in your face either, yeah. which is nice. Yeah, awesome. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. This is just uh, a little bit of uh, a new, program that we're going to try and do in the on, the on the channel where we're going to be trying to interview people around the country uh, with their baths and some of the crazy baths that we've got uh, coming on this channel is going to be amazing this is a lovely lovely example um, what do you think Hales you haven't really said anything what do you think a bit speechless really it's they're both lovely cars but wow the difference I think the colour, the, the colour is... That's it, what I mean, the colour itself is just, they're both beautiful reds, mm. very, very different. Oh, are we having those wheels? I think it's a no-brainer, Yeah, it? I think so, yeah. I think it, you've just made my, right my own decision, that's the biggest. <laughs> and now with the sun hitting it as well. Oh. Cracking. So, to say thank you, it's very kind. Oh, yes! No, one of those. Yes. That's fantastic, I need one of these. Thank you very much for that. And we got you one of those. Oh, blimey! Yeah, I thought you might like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's got all different bits and bobs in the back. Oh, that is terrific. That, that, that's the brand that I, I, I love. I love Maguire's. Yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. Fantastic stuff. Oh, that's terrific. I was literally, I was literally just going to buy some of this. I was going to pop down to Melbourne to get some of this. Yeah, I just I went in the shops on the way here. I thought, yeah. That is terrific, honestly. <laughs> so, you know, we just we just wanted to say thank you. No, no, absolute so, pleasure. Pleasure meeting yeah. you too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And your car, we're going to get some snaps and everything. Your car is... <laughs> I love those cars. My baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I really want those wheels now. Those colour wheels. <laughs> Buy you another one of them. I'll have your wheels off the other. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I think, uh, what do you reckon, Hales? What do you reckon? So I'll change these wheels and have that colour. What do we think, guys? Do we want them? Or them? I think it's a bit of a no-brainer, don't you? Yeah, I think so. I reckon. I think 